But wait till you see late this week. I am going to talk about snow. It's not going to be around the Syracuse area, but maybe some higher elevations. So this morning, some might have that furnace on, but it's going to be more AC weather, air conditioning as we head towards Thursday. We're at 61 for our high today, but there are some spots that are in the low 40s to upper 30s to start the day. 70 tomorrow, very nice day for tomorrow. And then for the most part, with low humidity, you can open up the windows, air out the house. It's really not that high, but hot, 74 degrees. 63 falling into the mid 50s though later in the afternoon here on Friday and by Friday night many spots are going to be back down close to the 30s so you might need the furnace on by then so we've got some ups and downs going through the rest of this work week going into the weekend. We've got a low pressure system. It's been here off the East Coast for a couple of days now. The remnants of the Hurricane Ian and it's still producing some very heavy rainfall and some wind action along the coast. We're just getting some light rain showers scattered south southeast of Onondaga County. Maybe a sprinkle works into Syracuse. Overall, though, it's overcast around Syracuse Point south and southeast. If you want some sunshine, at least partial sun, you head up close to that high pressure system up to the north. But a cool day with temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s today. That low pressure pulls away. We get the sun out and that's what's going to warm us starting tomorrow. So let's look ahead with our future cast and we'll get right to the seven day forecast. A lot of clouds as I mentioned. If we see scattered rain showers, they're most likely south southeast of Onondaga County from southern Madison County to Cortland to southern Cuga Tompkins going into Shenango County. This area a better chance for damp wet conditions at times for today, while further to the north Jefferson Lewis County better chance for partial sunshine and you're completely dry. So just a chance for a sprinkle. We should make about 61 for our high temperature for later this afternoon. Winds on the light side. There's some of that wet weather. Still trying to hit some of these areas to the south. You know, if you travel down to Binghamton and the Catskills, that's going to be a very damp day there. And look at this. We're clearing out by morning already. Temperatures in the 30s to low 40s. Still a bit of a chill. We're below average, but we jump above average by tomorrow afternoon. I think we hit 70 degrees for tomorrow. If we don't do it there, easily doing it coming up on Thursday. High pressures over us tomorrow. Tomorrow night, pretty clear. Thursday, we're also starting off with some sunshine. We should be making mid 70s with low humidity. This is going to be a nice day as well, but my one concern is late Thursday. The clouds are going to be increasing. There's a cold front that comes in Friday towards the evening. I feel north and northwest of Onondaga County. There may be a sprinkle or a spotty shower. Much greater threat for some rain showers at times on Friday. Falling temperatures Saturday, some lake effect rain showers. And even on the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks, I can't rule out a little bit of wet snowflake action mixing in, but no accumulation. So we're quieting down tomorrow after a chance for some showers to the south and southeast. Sunshine, that's my pick day, 70, 74 coming up on Thursday. A chance for a sprinkle in the evening up to the north and northwest. Then showers, temperatures fall into the 50s later Friday afternoon, get down to 40 at night, only 50 degrees. It's raw with showers, tapering some, lifting east of the lake Saturday. A shower up east of the lake in the morning on Sunday, then the sunshine returns. Abby.